Hey, what's up everyone? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us. And today we're taking a look at this beauty right here. The Thrunite Catapult V6 Flashlight. One hell of a pocket thrower. So, thank you for joining me. Let's get started. So it's a flashlight review, folks, so I'm not going to spend a great deal of time. I'm just going to kind of give you the ins and outs and my thoughts on this light. Uh, keep it very short and sweet. So before the sun sets and I show the different light modes, six different modes, uh, let me just give you the brief summary. It is a through night. You've seen what through nights do. You know what to expect. It is USB-C rechargeable, so you don't have to worry about, you know, replacing batteries like the, you know, the, the lights from the 80s, the old school lights. Here is the connecting port, and it does come with its own cable, just like every single flashlight does these days. So there's that. It has a two-year warranty. It's impact resistant up to one and a half meters. It is waterproof up to two meters. Like I said, there is six different modes we're going to take a look at later, and a power indicator right here in the middle of the button. And though, oh, also this light also comes with a pouch if you like you know if you're gonna want want to go ahead and place this on your belt now I'm not gonna lie to you guys I never carry this on me I have no need to be carrying something like this on me uh, I'm fine with a little EDC light but I could definitely see this being useful if you're say a park ranger uh, ser search and rescue something like that and of course while this is useful for every day I would like to keep this in my emergency pack at home in case of a natural disaster or keep it as a vehicle emergency pack something like that something much stronger uh, that you wouldn't necessarily use every day but you're gonna be glad to have it in a natural disaster or something along those lines and then you would just slide this right here through your belt so uh, yeah I dig it I like what you're getting with it and as of right now, once again, the sun's still out, so we're going to wait till sunset so we can show it in action. All right, folks, so the evening is here. In fact, it is about four in the morning. Really nice and creepy cold night, just the way I like them. And perfect time to show the flashlight in action. So I am currently in a trail. It's a, it's a hiking trail to, uh, for day use. And I just think this one, because there's a vast space of land here, I think that'll really help us out to gauge the distance and see how powerful this thing is. So this is right here on high. Okay, so this thing goes really far. I mean, over there across this little gulch, you see the little hiking trail information stand. I can easily follow this thing up to the top of the hill. I mean, this thing is a thrower. It goes far. Check that out. You can see a little water tower over there. I don't want to aim it too much over here because I don't want to disturb anyone sleeping and they get weirded out with the giant light shining through their window, but uh, very impressive. Once again, because of the way this, how strong this is and how far it can go, I could easily be, see this being used for as a park ranger. If you're a park ranger, if you're search and rescue, coast guard, uh, law enforcement, like say you, you're, you know, you're working in a penitentiary, definitely can you see this being used. So let's go ahead and talk about the different modes. Let me go ahead and change this up to a lower one that's not eating it up, eating up all the battery. So right now we're in low. Let me go ahead and switch this up to hold it down for a second. And there you go. Now, obviously, this is very small. This is not meant for like traversing through a field at three in the morning kind of thing. I like as I mentioned many times before, firefly mode is more for like looking through your tent, looking through your backpack in the middle of the night, your glove compartment, reading a map, something like that. So this is perfect right here. I brought my notes because I'm terrible with the numbers. So I want to make sure I have everything accurate. And Firefly mode is 0 0.3 lumens, and it'll last you 70 days. Now, because of the limitations in my recording technology, you don't see as much as I can see. For example, through the camera, I can see it's just one little circle, like a little targeted little ring of light. But in person, it kind of shows like it it shines all around uh, a little bit. Just, you know, not a, not a lot, but enough where I can feel more comfortable, you know, if I had to walk through here. All right, so let's move on to the low. So I'm going to hold it, but this is low mode. 
Low mode is 31 lumens and will last you 86 hours. I think this is good for like walking around your camp. You have to wake up in the middle of the night to go pee or something, um, something like that. I could definitely see this being useful for that. Uh, not too powerful, but enough to, you know, allow for, for visibility. Thought I heard some scuttling back here. I'm telling you folks, it's a creepy night. It has been spring-like weather for a week. We were just talking about going to the swimming pool yesterday, and today it just got ugly and cold and gloomy. It started raining. So, um, yeah, I feel like I'm in a Resident Evil game or something, like I'm just expecting something to pop out. So very much I'm glad I have this flashlight. <laughs> so let me go ahead and shine right before we move on. Let me shine the low light off into the distance. Once again, there's that hiking trail post doesn't look as a uh, pronounced right now but i can see very good right now through the naked eye so let's go ahead and switch it to medium all right now we're now we're talking now in case we did need you know once again uh to go the distance in case we are searching for a lost hiker out here you know something like that uh this goes pretty damn far now for medium it is 270 lumens and it'll last you nine hours so pretty damn good nine hours is pretty good because this is, once again it looks much brighter through through my eyes than through the camera and if needed i can see like up toward the top of hills and stuff like that now let's go ahead and move to high so let's hold this down low medium high now that is very impressive I'm telling you folks this thing is a thrower shoots very far I mean I can easily tell up there at the top of the hill of that trail very far really impressive and high is 1,014, uh, I'm sorry, 1,417 lumens, and it'll last you 102 minutes. So uh, a little over two hours. I'm not sure who would need, you know, the high power mode for about two hours. Once again, possibly Coast Guard or Search and Rescue, but very impressive. I mean, it would be overkill to illuminate your campsite with something this bright. And then we double-click it. And then this goes extremely far. I mean, Jesus, you can post one of these on top of, the, of a watchtower at a penitentiary and you could easily spot, you know, whatever troublemakers trying to make their escape. <laughs> really cool. Look at the, the beam on that thing. It's almost like a lightsaber. Okay, so when it comes to the turbo mode, it is 2,836 lumens, and it'll last you 220 seconds. It's almost two minutes. And then after that, it's going to go ahead and drop to 1,313 lumens, which will last you 89 minutes. Now, the, the high, as far as it goes in terms of uh, on turbo, it is 692 meters max. I really wish Gorbel was still here. Obviously, it's 4 in the morning, so he went home. But uh, if, if he was here, I would love to have him just standing over there so you could see how minuscule he looked like a little ant, like a little bug over there. That post over there, because I hike through there all the time, that post is about 8.5 feet, possibly 9 feet tall. So look how tiny it looks over here. All right, let's shine at the moon. <laughs> Wish I had a little bat symbol right now. All right, that's enough of that. And then once again, it's gonna drop. Now, before I uh, turn it off, I just wanna show you guys, look at the red. So uh, it'll start off blue, and that means that it's from 21% to 100% battery. Once it starts charging, um, once you start seeing the bu bu button as red, that means it's 11 to 21% battery. Once it's flashing, you're down to your la last 10%. Um, yeah, really liking this light. There is just one, 
one minor nitpick I have about it. I'll talk about it later on before I leave. Look, see, it was red because I was I had it on turbo mode, so it was eating up a lot of the battery. Now it's back to blue. And this is high, by the way. So let me, once again, focusing on the little stand over there. Low, medium, high. Low, medium, high, turbo. Which turbo, you really can't see the difference. What it is, is the turbo just throws farther the intensity. So through person, through, you know, through my eye, I can see that the turbo kind of makes it, I can see much farther. So um, once again, whether you're search and rescue, law enforcement, or, you know, you, you own property, you own a ranch and, you know, you, or something like that. And you hear, you know, somebody out there, something like that. I would love to have something like this. So you're able to get a good visibility on a wide range of the field. Like I said earlier, through my eyes, I can see much more illumination than what's showing on camera. Really impressive. And then once again, not only is it powerful like this, but if I just needed to read a map in the middle of the night, not really mess with my eyesight too much or wake anyone, that's really good. That's about a foot away from me. Really good stuff. So, all right, just illuminate on the side of this hill. We are in low, medium, high, turbo. Like I said, it's a creepy night, so I'm glad I have something like this. <laughs> So I'm making my way back to the truck. Let me illuminate on the truck so you can see this little Hot Wheels over here. So that's low, medium, high, turbo. I mean, I could illuminate this whole damn parking lot down the street. Really impressive. Okay, folks, so we already saw the lumens in action. I just want to show you a little bit of some size comparisons here. So as you can tell, this thing is not small. This is a big light. As you can imagine, it's going to be heftier. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to be carrying this every day. I'm not a security guard. I'm not a park ranger. So I'm fine carrying this for everyday carry. This is my through night T1. Um, I have a review on this one if you're so inclined to check it out. Perfect for everyday carry. I mean, on turbo mode, it could go up to 1,400. I don't recall exactly, but it's more than enough for, once again, EDC. As you can tell, look at the different sizes right here. So it's going to be much easier to carry this on my person. Now, I also have the Catapult Mini right here. It's little brother to the V6. And I've actually been using this one since November. I actually have more experience with this one than that one. But through night who were you know kind enough to send me all these lights so uh they requested for me to re review this one first so i was happy to oblige but this is um you know a good middle of the road between these two if you think this is overkill if you think this is just going to be way too heavy to bulky to carry this is a nice little compromise and i'll have a review on this in about a month from now let me just show you guys i mean this thing let me see if i can reach the little post i don't know if you can see the the hiking post over there the one that we were just showing earlier uh, illuminating so pretty damn good too it can also shoot get to the top of the hill so it's de definitely a, a thrower as well but it's not going to be so gigantic so you know this thing imagine carrying that in my haversack it's going to take a very large portion of it so something like this is a good middle of the road um other than that guys like i said i'm not edcing this you're not going to see me you know rocking this on the pouch on my belt anytime soon um but i'll be happy to have it in case something happens some snowstorm power blackout uh tornado hurricane season anything like that uh that i may need I'll be glad to have it. There's only one problem with this is this light turns on ridiculously easy. Just one quick little tap and it'll power on. So, you know, look at that. Look how quickly that turned on. In fact, it's been times that there's been times I have this in the pouch and, you know, I, I drop it. You know, it doesn't, you know, just from a, like a foot or two from the pouch from my backpack, my bug out bag down to like the floor. 
and it powered on just the impact turned it on so let me just simulate that right here look at that i don't like that so you know just a moment of carelessness like that that you don't notice it and then you know days or weeks pass by and you go back to use it when you need it and it's just it's dead i don't like that so i don't know why through night hasn't incorporated one of those uh lockout mode functions that they have on smaller lights like this so uh if you hold it down it'll it'll make it lock out so like um you know your kids don't get a hold of it and turn it on or anything like that so it's going to save the battery when you need it oh also i forgot to show the strobe mode which i personally could have done without i much rather sacrifice the strobe mode and instead have a memory lockout function i'm sorry a lockout function so it wouldn't turn on but um double double click right to get to turbo and then double click again and you have strobe which once again i don't really care for but once again i can also see a park ranger using that i guess um but yeah through night i would really wish you would have a uh, lockout mode for this okay folks so that is about the review for us the conclusion uh i want like i said i wanted to keep it short and sweet i really like this light now is it going to be you know used often i wouldn't say so personally uh, but I'm going to be glad to have it with my emergency supplies at home, you know, right next to my portable power stations and gas stoves and lanterns and stuff like that. In case there's ever some kind of national emergency, national dis uh, a natural disaster, something like that. Or I could definitely see this being used, at, you know, in an emergency pack in your vehicle or your bug out bag, something like that. So, uh, yeah, really liking it. I would really suggest, you know, for the version 7, I'm liking what they've made with it. I really I really do like this light, but it does need some kind of a, at the very least, make it a, a tougher button to click because this is just way too easy. So that's just my only criticism. And that's about it, folks. Uh, so thank you to the folks at Thrunite for sending this to us. It's going to be a welcome addition to our emergency supplies. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, I believe it sells for about 70 bucks. I'll have the link down below to our Amazon store where you can purchase it. And it throws a couple cents our way so we can keep getting out here and avoiding <laughs> gas in the tank because my, my V8 truck is just guzzling that. And right before we leave, one last shout out to this channel sponsor for today's video, which is our merch store. So we do have, you know, Junkyard Fox and Cuervo Negro mugs. We have stickers. We have shirts, that kind of stuff. So if you're so inclined to help support the channel and look cool while you're at it, uh, be sure to, I'll have the link down below to our spread shop. Go outside and get your boots dirty. Yes, those are my boots right there. So really loving this shirt. I use this a lot for like the gym and stuff like that, especially now that the weather is warming and it's closer to t-shirt weather. And then we recently made to commemorate his new album from the desert with love. Check this thing out. That's your boy right there. Apologies, it's a little windy, but uh, once again, I'll have the link down below so you can visit our site and purchase a shirt if you would like to do so. Look really cool while supporting your favorite cowboy bushcrafters and that's about it for us guys so thank you for watching if you have any questions comments suggestions go ahead and chime on down below give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next week with another video now go outside and get your boots dirty <laughs>